Alright, it's Wednesday. I have so many calls today. Oh. And then there's like an event going on tonight. I uh, just got myself some coffee, have a call in about 15 20 minutes. And then let's go. Let's do it. Alright, bus and friends, right here. Exciting times. Gonna sit down. I've also had a pan tioqueña and chocolum, but it's from another type of corn. It's a sweet corn. It's a sweet corn. So the first step is to wash really well the corn. Afterwards, you put it in, in water with uh, like about four eight hours normally i put it from a night to the other day and then i boil the corn and then boil mm -hmm. yeah wow. so here it's boiled if you see like now you can eat the, in the corn because it's a molino it is really traditional here uh, in our in other countries also but uh, this is like a must for us for making the arepas, the tamales, empanadas, eh, and a lot of preparations we have here. Could you do it in a blender? No. Well, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Completely no. <laughs> the Colombian house. Now we are losing the tradition eh, because people go to the supermarket and you have to press it so it has Oh, you press it with your hand. Yeah. Your fingers are gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> you press it into the thing. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people come here and tell tell me the same thing that it's like grits, but but this has a different texture. I didn't know oh yeah. Made from corn though. Yeah, yeah, grits is made from oh, corn. It's the middle Everything part is of made from. It's a pretty easy. Oh, oh it's too. Does anyone has restrictions? Uh, she's she's vegetarian. vegetarian. Vegetarian, okay. Mm. But because I love to change recipes, <laughs> I add butter. Yes. Everything's better with butter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And cheese. This is quesito. Yes. This is called quesito, it's a fresh cheese. Wow, it's like a crumbling cheese. <laughs> Very good. It's really different and the taste is really yeah. different also. That's amazing. Yeah, it's corn in here. Yeah. I'm sorry. If you want to taste, go ahead. Okay. okay, so we have different and what we normally eat at breakfast or for example at dinner when it's gonna be like the main plate when you're gonna eat with arepa with something else uh, this little arepa is normally used when you're taking a soup so it's like the accompaniment <laughs> Perfect, it's really nice. It's perfect. Yeah, look at the difference. This, it's oh, thin on one side. For example, yeah. I prefer this. Do we need this? Do we need more, or is this enough? No, no, we need more. Oh, okay. This is a parrilla. This is the way we cook the arepa. We put the parrilla. Oh, you put them over the stove. Put it over yeah. The oh, I thought the they were in the oven. oven. No, 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 no. This way. We have to have a parrilla in every Colombian house. It's like an essential. I don't need mine. That's why I carry this thing for. Yeah. 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 Nice. It's perfect. Oh. It is. I'm glad you picked up on the two, except I picked up on that. Oh, wow. Here we go. So now Dexie is making the. Oh. <laughs> Dexie is making the arepa. Dexie is making the arepa. 
Dixie. Oh, is it? Oh. Let's see. It's in a hotel. The Charlie ah, okay. Hotel. The Charlie one. I mean, even if you Guacamole. It's guacamole. Arepas you guys Arepas. made. And different Colombian cheeses. A few moments later. Alright, we just left uh, the lady's house and now we're going back to our casa. Fix your hands, grow your heart, pound the drums and love to start. Night becomes day, dark becomes light, and death becomes life, life becomes white. Fix your hands. 